Lesson 3.7, signs of trig functions. Signs meaning positive or negative. I actually really enjoy this because it gets pretty quick um, to where you're just thinking of where the values are at on a coordinate plane. So knowing this is quadrant one, two, three, four, everything's positive in quadrant one because X goes to the right, Y goes up. Quadrant two, X's are negative, Y's are positive. Quadrant three is everything's negative because you go left and down. And quadrant four, you go right, which is positive, but then down, which is negative. So thinking about sine and thinking about our triangles. So picture triangle angle. Remember, opposite side from that angle is always the height, the Y value. So I've got to think of where on my graph are Y's positive because the radius or the hypotenuse was always positive. And so sine would be positive where Y's are positive, which is up. Right, so quadrants one and two are where sine and cosecant are positive. So think sine and cosecant are y's, y's go up is positive. When they're down, they're negative. So negative in quadrant three and four. Okay, cosine and secant go together because they deal with the adjacent side. So when we have our triangle and here's our angle, adjacent is always the x over our positive radius. And so when X's are positive, that's when they go to the right. So X's are positive in quadrant one and quadrant four. But then they're negative when they go to the left in quadrant two and three. And then tangent actually deals with slope. Remember slope is change in Y over change in X. That's kind of what I think about, but also I know I'm not doing anything with um, the radius or the hypotenuse. So where is slope positive if my line was going like this? So it goes through quadrants three and one. The other way to think about it is when you're dividing y by x, if I divide a positive by a positive, I'm positive, or if I divide a negative by a negative, I'm positive. So then tangent and cotangent are negative, if a line goes downhill like this through quadrant two and four. And because you're taking a positive Y divided by a negative X, that would result in a negative tangent and taking negative divided by positive is negative. So now what's gonna ask you is in which quadrant does this angle lie if the following statements are true? Where is sine of theta greater than zero? So that means where is sine positive and tangent less than zero, negative. So I think about this, where is sine positive? Where y's are positive? So that could be quadrant one or two. Where is tangent negative between those two quadrants? Well, this is positive. Tangent's only negative here in quadrant two out of those two options. Okay, number two, where is tangent less than zero? Where is secant greater than zero? So start with where is tangent negative? here and here, quadrant two and three. So those are the only ones we can choose between. Where is secant positive? Secant goes with cosine, which is X. X is positive when we go to the right, so that would only be quadrant four. And then last one, cosecant needs to be positive. Secant needs to be negative. Cosecant goes with sine. Sine is positive when Y's are positive, so quadrant one or two. Where is secant negative? Secant goes with cosine, which is X's. X's are negative when you go to the left, so quadrant two.